This is SAT test six, non-calculator question number 12. Which of the following is equivalent to this rational expression? I have four answer choices, and as I often do for rational expressions, when they're asking which one is equivalent, I'll substitute in x equals zero. At zero, this is zero over two, which is zero. That matches choice A, but that doesn't mean choice A is correct because other choices may match when you're making up numbers. Choice B is zero plus four is four, which is not zero, so choice B is wrong. Choice C is zero minus two halves is zero minus one equals negative one, which is wrong. Choice D is zero plus one is one minus two halves. One minus one is zero. So choice D could be correct. Let's try one more value, and we're trying to decide between A and D. So how about x equals 1? Then my numerator here is 4 plus 6 is 10. My denominator is 4 plus 2 is 6. At x equals 1, choice A is 1, which is not 10 over 6. At x equals 1, choice B is 1 plus 1 is 2, minus 2 over 4 plus 2 is minus 2 over 6. Common denominator, that's 12 over 6 minus 2 over 6 equals 10 over 6. So that's the correct answer because they match at both x equals 0 and x, x equals 1. For many of us, that's easier than synthetic division or long division. But let's do the actual math and see if that also gives me choice D. On a time test, I would just take choice D. And it can't be wrong, but it's nice to review the method. Long division, 4x plus 2 into 4x squared plus 6x. 4x goes into 4x squared x times. x times 4x plus 2 is 4x squared plus 2x. I'm going to subtract that whole quantity. 4x squared minus 4x squared is 0x squared. 6x minus 2x is 4x. 4x plus 2 goes into 4x one time, giving me 4x plus 2. I'm going to subtract that whole quantity. 4x minus 4x is 0. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. So my answer is x plus 1 with a remainder negative 2, which we're going to write as x plus 1 plus negative 2 over my original denominator, 4x plus 2. And that is choice D. But you only needed to do substituting in numbers, and that was more efficient. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.